Welcome back, everyone. Issuing a challenge to social media to help find those in our community who need help this holiday season. Joining us now in this sponsored interview are Brooklyn and Kellen from Shields to share more about what they're doing this time of year. Now, Shields is such a spectacle. I pass it every day on my way to work, and it's such an experience to go in there. Um, they have lots to see, and it's your place for all your sporting needs, but you also love to give back to the community. Yes. Why is that so important to you working at Shields? Yeah, so one of our culture points at Shields is that we do good in our community, and we know that the impact that it can have and we just want to show our appreciation to everybody and know that we're there to help them in any way possible. Okay, so we need people to get on social media. Tell us yes. how it works because you're giving away $5,000 to three deserving yeah. nonprofit organizations in Utah. So explain yeah. how we do this. Yes, yeah, so you can head over to our social medias. It's Sandy Utah Shields on Instagram and Sandy Shields on Facebook. Uh, go to the comments on our most recent reel on Instagram, and our photo will be going live on Facebook later today. Uh, tag the nonprofit you want to nominate, or just mention them in the comments, and we'll be tallying up the votes on the morning of December 18th. So launching today on your social media, people can go and, I mean, organizations of any size, right? Yes. Yeah, we want to hear about organizations that are small, big ones, ones that we've never heard of. So you're tagging. Are you also asking people to say why? Yes, I think that would be wonderful. I think just hearing the reason why and the impact that they do will be a great help for us to make that decision in the end. And you will be, I mean, this will be going crazy over the next couple of weeks, and yeah. then you'll be tallying up mm -hmm. the organizations that got the most tags. Yeah. And then what do you think this will mean to them to be able to give back to these organizations? Yeah, well, with the holiday season, there's so many people that need it right now. And I think that this will make a big impact, and they can just take that money further and give it back into the community. Have Shields done this before? This is our second time doing this, and last year it was super successful, and so we only gave to one organization, and now we want to give to three, so we're ramping it up each year. Well, you're doing something <laughs> right, because obviously that helped the culture at Shields, too. Absolutely. Like, as, as employees there and representing mm -hmm. Shields, how does that make you feel? It feels awesome just being able to get out in the community and see the impact that we can have. It's, it's super special. Well, and the last time you guys joined us, you talked about a food drive that you held, and I want to hear the response that yeah. the community has had. Yeah, so it was very successful, and we've had a wide variety of people reach out since then asking to host campaigns and different things like that in our store because it was so successful. So we did like a feather campaign, and we're teaming up with Primary Children's now, so it's just been super awesome to see people come to us. It's so important to give back, and it's really easy to nominate. There are so many organizations yes. in need right now. So it launches later today, or can people just go on right now? They can go on right now. It's already at over 2,000 comments <gasps> from this morning. So, really? Yeah. What kind of organizations? Have you taken a peek? Yes, we have looked. One of the most commented right now is from Mountain Ridge High School. They're supporting uh, free, the, what is it? Uh, I can't remember the name exactly, but <laughs> every year the schools kind of pick a nonprofit to raise money for and. Mountain Ridge, Ooh. their student body is absolutely blowing so up. So even our collaborating right now. with yes. another team there, yeah. a school who is also mm -hmm. contributing, what a fun way to connect! Yes, this is so exciting. Now tell our viewers uh, how long this lasts. How long, yeah. and then when will you be selecting them? We will be selecting them on December 18th. So at the end of December 18th, we'll tally them all up and then make the announcement the next day on our social platforms. Oh, and then they come in and get the check? or We're going to surprise them with a big check presentation. So, Oh, yes. how fun. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm sure Shields has a lot of reasons why to go there and shop for Christmas. Oh, absolutely. We have everything you need for your family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I'm sure it's just decorated so fun right now because you have, of course, the Ferris wheel, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> so much fun. Any fun, exciting uh, opportunities for the holidays to come visit Shales? Um, we did just have Santa and Ranger in the store, so we might bring them back, so keep an eye out for that. We might have to bring him back. And then I think we were just looking at a picture of last year's yes. recipient. And yes. sure, I'm sure that she was so surprised. Mm -hmm. It was great to see her That's reaction. Actually Ashley, our ASL, she's just kind of advertising it, holding up the check presentation you could get this year. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, there you go. I mean, free money <laughs> from Shields. Yes. Nothing better. Three nonprofits in Utah. Go to social media right now, Instagram and Facebook, to nominate that organization that is so deserving. Yep. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to Shields for the sponsored interview. And